Sydney's evolving suburb, Riverston, now has three kilometres of wastewater pipes installed in preparation for 27,000 future residents who all need to go. All the work's now been completed. We're just filling in the holes and allowing people to come out and start to build some homes soon. But this is a massive investment of almost a quarter of a billion dollars into wastewater infrastructure, which will provide the opportunity for an additional 9,000 homes to be built here in Western Sydney. The plan for Riverston leaves the existing suburb unchanged. Most of it will remain low-density housing with some medium density at the Schofields end, as well as four new schools plus parks and sporting fields. It's also on the northwest metro line, which is a major drawcard. But they're coming here because of the wonderful lifestyle that it will offer. All the services and facilities you want will be in this district. Families already living in some of the first homes built here in Riverston have had to rely on temporary sewage connections from neighbouring suburbs until their own is set up and running. New homeowners will be able to have their first flush at the end of July using this network. A much less formal cutting of the ribbon. Jessica Dietrich, 7 News.